Hi, I'm Jeff Felt, General Manager at Kakani Utilities, and today we had an open house concerning our Badger Hydro project, and I want to give you an idea of some of the things that we talked about today to our customers and interested stakeholders. Kakani Utilities has been in service for 100 years. Our oldest power plant, Old Badger, has been in service since 1908, making it 103 years old right now. And that's the reason we're here today is to talk about the Badger Hydro project. So where does our power come from at Kakani Utilities? We only produce 20% of our total from hydro, and we produce the other 80% we purchase that. So 20% is what we produce out of the eight hydro plants along the Fox River. 80% we purchase through WPPI Energy, our main power supplier. Kakani Utilities owns and operates eight hydroelectric plants on the Fox River from the College Avenue Bridge in Appleton to the Rapid Crush Hydro Project in Wrightstown. Interesting to note that the Fox River drops 168 feet from Lake Winnebago to the mouth of Green Bay. And so with that 168 foot drop over a 35 mile stretch, 73% of it is captured through our eight hydro plants. So that means we captured the drop through 124 feet of the Fox River to generate hydroelectric uh, power. And if you look on the map from Lock 4 all the way down here to Rapid Crush, that's a significant drop making it an ideal situation to generate hydroelectric power. And this graph shows what our savings are from uh, generating, electric, generating hydroelectricity versus having to buy it. So the top graph here shows that in 2010, Kakani Utilities customers collectively saved $9.5 million. And you can see over time that that savings has increased. For the last 10 years, our customers have saved $57.8 million by having the hydros available on the Fox River. And the issue that we have today is the fact that we need a new plan for a 100-year-old hydro plant. With respect to the Badger Hydro Project, we actually have three options. One is to retire the existing plants and stop generating electricity. Two would be to repair the existing 100-year-old, 103-year-old unit and the 85-year-old unit. And the third option would be to build a brand new plant and retire the two plants. Why wouldn't we retire the plants? We would need to offset the power that's generated from that plant for our customers. Replacement power would be from fossil fuel or other non-renewable resources. The differential cost to purchase replacement power is approximately $2 million today. And also why not retire is the rate increase is significantly more than other alternatives, especially in the long term. So the second option is why not just repair the existing units? Again, this is a short-term solution with life expectancy of 20 years. The rate increase required would be significantly more in the long term. We would also be producing 25% less hydro generation. So we would know that in 20 years, we would either have to refurbish again or build a new plant at that time. So we've been push, pushing this decision off another 20 years. This pro we've been working on this project very actively for the last 10 years. However, we actually started looking at it in 1997 when we did a condition survey of the existing old and new Badger hydros as well as the power canal. But in 2002, we started doing the initial general licensing investigation. And these are all the activities that have taken place in the last 10 years, including feasibility studies, independent financial studies, uh, the actual licensing, and a number of environmental studies that we've had to undergo to get a license. This all culminated in, in getting a 50-year license from the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission in 2011 to proceed. In addition to the hydropower, we also have other green power resources, such as the Allegheny County Landfill Methane Gas Project, some solar panel installations, some solar water heaters, and wind turbines. We've also had a very uh, significant effect with efficiency projects. Over the last four years, our customers have realized real savings of 37 million kilowatt hours and 7 megawatts, which represents about 5% decrease in, in usage. That's provided them with savings of $2.3 million. Our recommendation to build a new plant and this is what the new plant would look like. It'll go in the existing power canal where New Badger is. As part of the project, we're being required by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission to finish Hydro Park located adjacent to the old and New Badger hydro plants. This is a master plan that we've developed over the last two months of what we would like to see and what some of the surrounding property owners would like to see with respect to Hydro Park. So with respect to the three options, if we were to retire the existing plants and fill in the power canal, we'd have an upfront cost of $5 million. However, 
we would also incur additional fuel cost or additional purchase power costs in the future because we've got to replace that output. The total cost to repair the plants and rebuild the power canal is $20 million, and the total capital cost of a new plant in the power canal rebuild is $37 million. So if we look at that, those are the three options. In evaluating those options, we look at what the rate impact might be. So to retire the new plant, to retire the plant with no new hydro plant built, it's initially a 4.5% 4, 4 rate increase that escalates over time and costs significantly more in the long run. The repair option, which is the green line, shows what cost we would incur if we just repair the units, repair the power canal and repair the units. Initially, it's the same increase, but it drops down to about 3.7% and then increases over the next 20 years. And at that 20 year period, we need to make another decision to build a new plant, which causes a great 11% spike at that point. With respect to the new hydro plant, you'll see we see the initial spike of 6.5% but then it continues downward as the plant gets fully paid off and continuing down so the rate impacts long term are much less than the other two alternatives making it the recommendation that we're going to make to our utility commission. So why build this plant now? This is actually the best time to be building this hydro plant. We have lower cost equipment so the cost for the turbine generators have come in at 2005 levels. Lower cost labor the contractors are looking for work and the bids have been very competitive. Low interest rates. Interest rates right now are at historical lows and county utilities qualifies for great rates. Good local jobs when we need them. This project will be built primarily by area companies with area workers. So this is a significant investment in the power canal must be made now so it just makes sense while we're building the power or while we're repairing the power canal to build a new plant. So the timing couldn't be better. Everything has come together to provide the perfect opportunity to build this plant. So the time is right for renewed investment for long-term savings. Our governing bodies 100 years ago made the decision to build the old Badger plant and the new Badger plant. 100 years later, we're reaping the benefits of that. And with our decision here to build a new plant, we're making a decision for the next 100 years that our children, our grandchildren, and future generations can enjoy the savings that we've had today. So this will be the recommendation that we will make to our Utility Commission on December 21st, is to build a new plan. So thank you for watching this presentation. If you would like more information on the project, please visit our website at www.ku-wi.org.